as a person, how can somebody um, live their life in a way that um, when they are trying to uh, live how they feel that, uh, you know, Jesus would want them to, right, how God has led them to, um, how could somebody kind of manage the the way that they would present themselves um, to maybe their coworkers uh, versus some people that they just kind of see out in the street versus somebody that they might be running into. And the reason why I say this, is, or I, I'm asking this question, and it, it might be kind of a little vague, but um, I'm thinking of the person who, in the context of a church building, they are um, very well equipped, understanding that everybody kind of has the same me- mentality, so it's a little easier for them uh, to speak. But maybe, obviously, their heart is the Great Commission. They really want to, you know, bring that light, like you said, you know, to people. How would they end up going from, I'm used to this um, bubble, as you said, this, this kind of church world, but I really want to be effective outside of it. What are some steps that a person can kind of do? Because you, you can't just... You can't just use the Christianese language, you know, at, at your workspace when don't, don't nobody know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I would say um, in the safest way possible, because anybody can be listening to this. So I don't I don't want to steer anybody the wrong way. Uh, but I will say, man, you need to get out of your bubble. That's the problem. Like, can we just like pop all the bubbles that we have? Like, let's just let's just like just like pop every last one of them just because they don't help. Bubbles don't help at all. Bubbles just make yeah, you just yeah. like narrow minded and close minded. Like, bubbles don't help. Yeah. You, like, they just they don't. Like, they they don't. So, get out of your bubble first and foremost. Uh, I'm not saying neglect your relationship with the church. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that if your relationship with the church is all you got then you need to expand and extend your relationships. You need to have relationships that don't look like your bubble. You need to go out and have a, 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 a regular building of relationships in the world. Like you just need to go out and be a regular yeah. person to regular people. Go, I, I say this all the time, like go bowling with, make some new friends. Go eat French fries with, with somebody, you know, eat French fries for, I don't know. Like go, like, like just be a regular yeah, person yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? Like the part of the, like, the one thing I've realized during the pandemic is I am not the church guy. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not by 1000%. I'm not the church culture guy. I'm not the church politic guy. I am not that guy. I'm not him. Um, and, uh, and, and I've never been that way. And, uh, you know, sad to say, but, you know, church culture wants you to be church culture ish and that ish don't work in the world. <laughs> <You> just don't. <laughs> um, and so, you know, like you just, I've learned that people appreciate when you are just genuine and authentic and you don't come with your old, hi, man, I'm blessed and highly favored. God is low. like, niggas don't care about that. They just want you all to be a regular person. Okay. All they, don't care, they don't care nothing about how, how many scriptures you, you done read. Don't nobody care about your devotional time with the Lord. Ain't nobody checking for that, but you and the Lord. Okay. Like be a regular person to them so that at some point, maybe if God allows, you might be able to speak some life into them, but just be right. a regular person, like love on them, bake them some cookies, invite them over and play some games. All right. But you don't, you don't have to try to force your spirituality on somebody else who ain't even asking for you to do that. Like mm. just be regular to them, be a person to them, laugh, crack a joke. All right. You know, it's like if you, if you're around me, you might hear a couple jokes, you know, but it's yeah. just, you know, be be a regular person. That's all I can say. You know, be a regular person. Don't try to force, how do I be a light amongst them? You will already be a light if the Holy Spirit is in you. Okay, just yeah. listen to that voice inside. You don't got to, like, make it a hard equation and try to figure this out. Like, no, stop being stupid. Just be a regular person. Let him move you. Let him lead you. And you're going to be that light because he's already there. Okay, it's not hard being a light amongst a whole bunch of darkness if you listen to the Holy Spirit inside of you. All right, that's if. So listen, but that's all I can. Yeah, I'm gonna wow. drop the mic. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We we were, yeah. we're doing the mic drop emo, some hitting the sound effects, bro. Like that was that was awesome. I'm not gonna add nothing to that. That was amazing. I, I and that's and that's so true. And and again, it's one of those things that um, you you quickly. Kind, especially especially in the Christian world, but you, you quickly notice where a person's maturity is, not just as a person, but then also the, in their faith, when um, 
and, and not that there's anything wrong with um, some good, zealous, like, hey, but, you know, I have a limited time, so I really do want to be able to share um, the word. Th- there is a, a good, healthy way to have that um, fire under your butt, like, okay, I really want to get this done, but do it still in such a way that, that you know, is, is a blessing, and it's not, like the chat saying as well, not forcing or whatever. Um, yo, you guys, are, you guys are killing me with these filters you're putting in my face <laughs> while we're talking right now. <laughs> so, so, Canon, just so you know, I've got, uh, we got, we've got some fun filters for the audience oh to engage gosh. with. <laughs> and right now, um, one of my mods who know better is just randomly throwing up stuff <laughs> on my face. So oh my anyways, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm addressing it. It's, it's a different world here. It's a lot of fun, but uh, oh, y'all, your, your timing, your timing is different. <laughs> um, anyways, all right. So uh, let me, let me, sw- oh, okay, Zach, bro, you, you kill, no, go to, that was Nisha. Nisha, thank you for putting the squirrel on my face. <laughs> Um, this wait, is, wait, is that a wait, 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 what is, what is, is that a squirrel on your face? Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a squirrel, it's a squirrel. So oh my gosh. When, <laughs> when I'm, when I'm on a tangent, when I'm off tangent, when I'm off oh my topic, gosh. I was wondering like what exactly, and this a, it's a squirrel and they got nuts. They got acorns falling from, off. Those yeah. are acorns. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so Ooh. shout out to my mods who are freaking messing around right now. 